Hello sports fans, this is Ian Omaha, back with another baseball card video for your entertainment. And as you can see from the balloon behind me, I have happened upon a sports card store on their one year anniversary, which is so cool. I'm at Dolly Sports Cards in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada, and we're gonna go check it out. The owner, Chris, is super nice and has offered to let us interview him for the channel. So here we go. So this is, from what I can tell, a very, very heavy Pokemon store and a very heavy Magic the Gathering store, but they also have tons of sports cars. And because we're here on their one year anniversary, as you can see, it is packed. And they've got gaming tables and they've got all kinds of cool stuff that you can choose from. Nice big screen TV with the soccer tournament on. And this place is hopping. And they've got really everything you could want. I mean, everything from Funko Pop stuff to supplies, everything that the heart could desire. And I actually did stop at another card shop outside of Toronto yesterday, and I did not bother to uh, record it because it wasn't great, but this is great. So they've got the dollar box. You always know a store is good when they've got a dollar box. Massive, massive, massive selection of wax. Just crazy. Everything you could want. Lots of singles as well. And of course, since we kind of focus on baseball on this channel, we'll go over to the baseball cards in a second. But as you can see, lots of graded cards. Very nice stuff. There's an O'Neill Cruz right there. As you can see Josh Young, Corbin Carroll. Just some amazing, amazing stuff. And here's Chris. How you doing, guys? Welcome to Dolly's Niagara. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about the uh, the background of this store. You've been open for a year now. Yeah. So, congratulations on that. Yeah, so uh, Dolly's is a, a known name in Toronto. A friend of ours actually opened it up. And we, me and my partner, Jason, did the, the card show with them. And uh, we kept talking about opening up a store down here in Niagara. And uh, we finally cracked the code, and it's been our one year anniversary now. Uh, Sweet. It's, it's been really amazing here. Like, as you can see, the community comes out. Yeah, we, we have. Come on, trade nights, sports car trade nights. Uh, we always have sports on on the TV. Um, it's a place you can come in and hang out. Yeah, it's a very full full shop today, which I know is because it's your birthday. But is this kind of typical on a weekend? To, so we have yeah. a Pokemon uh, League night uh, on Saturdays. Uh, we have the Pokemon trade night tonight. That gets really busy. Um, One Piece is really picked up. We, have, we do everything, magic, and we're licensed for all the games. So. And obviously you have a license with Tops too, because we can yep. feast our eyes on all this stuff. Yeah. Everything Base, you baseball, could want. Football and basketball are pretty hard for us to get on this side of the border, but we sure. try our hardest to get what we can. Uh, we always have our hockey in stock, but Connor Bedard's are a big chase this year. So. Nice. Yeah, we strive to, we do, we do uh, grading for everyone too. We send away grading every month. So. Oh, cool. So you could bring your cards in and have you send it off to PSA? That's great. That's a great service to offer. Great value add. Awesome. Do so you want to tell everyone your address and your hours? on the corner of Niagara and Carlson, uh, St. Catharines, Ontario. And uh, store hours are pretty much uh, Tuesday to Sunday. Um, Tuesday is 4 to 8, and then the other hours are 12 to 8 every day. So nice. Eight. And then Sunday is 12 to 6. Outstanding. Do you want to... Uh, Set me up with a spot and I'll rip some stuff right here and, and we'll put it on the put it on the channel. All right. I wanna I think I wanna do that um, that 2022 update series box that we we're just looking at. Yeah, look at that. Is there a good spot for me to, to do that? You can pull up the seat on the table there okay. if you want. Um, awesome. Yeah, just Jason is here too, co-owner. Congratulations you? on your one year. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. We just didn't want him to, to get all the glory. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. yeah. You guys have a great shop. Appreciate yeah, it. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if someone comes in and they say they say that they learned about you on the Noma Loves You channel, 
you guys will hook them up, right? Uh, 100%. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, Appreciate come on down it. here, guys. It's an awesome shot. So we're about to cut the box open. Just yeah. ripping it open here. You can scan the barcode. So we do that in a sealed product. Okay, guys. So I'm here in the back room, and he gave me this uh, Connor Bedard rookie card. And I do not know anything about hockey, but I do know that that's a very desirable card. And he gave me a uh, free 2023 Bowman hobby pack. He doesn't, ooh, we got a Jason Domingos right at the back. He does not think that the auto has been pulled out of here, although he was not 100% sure. So let's see, maybe we'll maybe we'll get something good. Riley Green, rookie is always good. It uh, doesn't look like we got the auto here, but we did get a nice Jason Dominguez. So that's certainly not a bad box. And we got some National Hockey Card Day packs. And again, I know nothing about hockey, but you know, I'm, I'm sure if this is anything like the Topps National Baseball Card Day packs, that there's a possibility of some autographs in here as well. So we got a Steve Userman. I know he was good back in the day. Phil Esposito for my Bruins. Sidney Crosby for the Penguins. So it seems like there's quite a few of uh, some veterans mixed in to these. Patrick Roy, of course I know him. I say that I know nothing about hockey and then I do know things. All right, last pack, last free pack. And then we get into the pack packs that we paid for. But these are cool, I mean, free cards. I like free cards, those are always good. All right, cool. So let's get into this box and I may need to just open half of it now and half later because I am getting called to lunch. Okay, so I need you to go through these hockey cards because I don't know who's good. I mean, I know Patrick Roy is good. Yeah, so pretty much this is like a, uh, I think it's typically you have the checklist in there. So there's 30 cards in the base set. Yeah. And then you're 31, so there's two Bedard cards you can get. All so right. If trying to hit the other Bedard, it's usually... Cool. Um, Do they do autos at all? They're randomly inserted and very nice. hard to pull because these are they're like a uh, promo pack. Oh, cool. For when you, when you buy products and stuff. Do so. you know who Fernando Tatis Jr. is? Yeah, well, for sure. I pulled a couple, a few years ago before I had the channel, I pulled a, um, I think this is probably our auto. No, maybe not. Um, I pulled a autograph Tatis out of a free National Baseball Card Day pack. Nice. So, <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. Oh, we have a backwards C.J. Abrams. I don't know why that's backwards. There's backwards in the pack. We'll have to take a closer look at that. Yeah, I never know if it's a variation. Right? Never know. So there's a Brandon Marsh nice. foil. Nice. That's not bad. He's having a pretty good year. And we got black gold of Judge. Nice. So that's a good card for sure. There's the regular Marsh. Or as we'd say it in Boston, Marsh. Brandon Marsh. Okay, we got a gold of Ryland Bannon. That's gonna be the 2023, 2022 rather. That's not the Oriole that we're looking for, but the Orioles that we're looking for are not in this set, so it kind of doesn't matter. Coming up on an 87 card. This is gonna be a popular card here in mm -hmm. the Toronto area. Yeah. Does your daughter want that one? Does she like him? No, no, she's a Pokemon girl. Oh, okay. We're trying to get her into sports. All right, we need to put that aside for you to give to some kid. Yeah, for sure, thank you. Some Blue Jays fan is gonna want that one for sure. There's a Saya rookie. That's a true rookie actually, even though a lot of these update cards are rookie update rookies, not true rookies, but that actually is a true rookie of Suzuki. He's having a really nice year. Of course, we're looking for Julio. There's an interesting little die cut of A-Rod. Great baseball player, profound cheat, cost himself the Hall of Fame, now a great announcer. So we're either gonna get a relic or an auto in here. And obviously we don't want the relic, so let's have no relic. No relic. Hey, are you a Blue Jays fan? Yeah. Yeah? I just pulled this Matt Chapman card. It's yours if you want it. You want this card, buddy? Okay. 
put it in a sleeve if you Hey, there's another Blue Jay. Give him that one too, please, if you don't mind. Just for free. But uh, if your dad's on YouTube, have him subscribe to my channel, which is No Ma Loves Ya, but he can come back and I'll tell him what it is. Yeah. All right, we got another 87. Sometimes the 87s are autographs. So let's see, Alec Thomas, no. This, uh, here's a Stott True Rookie. This product is so loaded that it's gotten, ooh, we got it to 76. This is gonna be an Independence Day. We just had the 4th of July, which I spent at Rogers Center, as most of you are aware. This is gonna be my boy, Doolittle. That's pretty cool. Not a super valuable card, but it's to 76. The reason I say my boy is that he signed a ball for me in spring training a million years ago when he was, there's another say, when he was, and I should probably put the Pepe aside, when he was actually uh, still an outfielder. <laughs> and he failed as an outfielder, but I still have the ball because he comes back and is an all-star closer. There's Bruhan, rookie. Alec Thomas, generation now is okay. We got the O'Neill Cruz. We have not gotten our hit yet. And we also have a silver pack to think about. So let's see, uh, he sh who shall not be named. We'll just pass him right by. We have another, oh, I thought we had another backwards card. There's a little Bryce, 87, that's pretty cool. And the Sean Doolittle base. So if you wanna, if you wanna see the difference. Do you have any penny sleeves laying around? Yeah, I should no, probably sleeve no. that since it's the 76. Oh, we went right past the Jaron Duran rookie debut. All right, so I'm just gonna go for it and finish up this box. I really appreciate all of you guys watching. I should have asked you to like the video by now. If you haven't liked it, please like it. It really helps the channel to grow. And at the end or now, at any point, if you feel I've earned a sub and you're not a subscriber, please, by all means, sub. You guys can see on my right wrist, this uh, little born and raised thing. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we got some more backwards cards. Let's just go. Oh, we did get a relic. Bummer. All right. So we'll reveal the relic in just a second. Thank you so much. I thought we had another backwards card. Yep. Here's another gold card. So the gold is going to be Adam Hazely. So we still could get like a Julio short print of some kind. There's a Jeremy Pena rookie. We still could get, oh, there's, that's nice. That's a Julio Rodriguez black gold rookie card. So that is the best card out of here so far. That is absolutely gorgeous. Loving that one. Loving that one. Yeah, we should, we should uh, sleeve that one up. See, if I lived in this area, I would have you send that into PSA for me, but I think that's a 10, don't you think? There's a Torque, Torque rookie card. Are we still putting Torque aside? I guess we're still putting Torque aside. Yeah, that Julio is is banging. George Kirby, he's having a great year. Rookie card for George. Stephen Kwan, there's another Seiya. We've gotten three Seiya Suzuki rookies. So if you're a Seiya Suzuki, this is kind of the Bobby Witt non-rookie with MJ there. If you're a Seiya Suzuki or a Cubs fan, this has definitely been the rip for you guys. Pretty awesome. Just passed by at Devers and I do PC him, but we'll come back to that one. There's Abrams, there's Xander. Nice uh, Cal Ripken. But I mean, the the floor on this, there's another Julio. The floor on this is pretty high just because there's so many good rookies. There's a Pena. Saw him. He was the hero of the game I went to the other day between the Astros and the Blue Jays. He hit a home run, and he also scored on a double where he had to slide in a home, and he got a face full of dirt, and he... Uh, he had a dirty uni, which to me, if you don't have a dirty uni at the end of the game, you're not doing it right. So I'm up here in the Toronto area for this Born and Raised Festival, which is a Canadian music festival. Metric played last night. The big band last night was City and Color. Some more Kirby. Tonight is gonna to be Alexis on Fire. There's a Lodolo rookie, just so many rookies. And there's a nice Julio rookie. And a uh, little bit of funk on this one, top left corner. You see that print line? Yeah. That's very interesting. 
has to be on the Hulu. So depending on how you look at it, guys, this is either a, uh, a trash card that's in poor condition because it's got a weird print line on it, or this is a one of one, or at the very least an eBay one of one, incredibly rare. Make me an offer, I'll let it go for a grand. <laughs> it's worth whatever someone will pay for it, I suppose. But that's kind of kind of interesting, you know, and in my day, right across the, the is that logo, weird? Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of cool actually. I've never, seen that before. I've never seen that either. I mean, back in my day, it was considered, you know, a problem to have print lines. But these days, it's actually kind of a, there's a blue Warren Spawn, not numbered but short printed. But nowadays, it's actually kind of uh, some people will pay a lot of money for that. So who knows? Maybe that will end up being a uh, there's a nice Bobby. Maybe it will end up being very valuable. Who who can say? If you have any thoughts on that. Very interesting, Julio. And I haven't seen any other cards that have that print line. I don't know, is that some kind of special something? There's another Julio rookie. That's why I love this set so much. There's just so many good things. There's a very nice rainbow foil Hunter Green, true rookie. That's not a rookie debut, that is a true rookie. So we're getting the hookup. Chris is helping me out with sleeving these. And hey, Robbie. Robbie, how about a Mariners card for you with the bath? That is for your daughter, buddy. Robbie is a huge supporter of the channel and I owe him a package of cards. There's another Hunter Green. And his wife, uh, excuse me, his daughter PCs, uh, you're gonna get that one too, Robbie. PCs uh, when the, the Gatorade bath card and they PC Mariners. Penultimate card is gonna be a Spencer and then we got the Paredes. So, Let's see what our, our relic is. Uh, it looks like some kind of all-star relic. It's uh, event worn. And that's gonna be, is that Manny? Who is that? I think that's Manny. Yeah, Manny Machado. So that's decent. It's decent, it's from the all-star game. We'll definitely take that one. And last but not least, we have our silver pack. So let's let's uh, hope for something big out of the silver pack. Julio does have autos in here. Another defect. Yeah, kind of weird. Got a few. Oh, we got Petey. Always like that as a Red Sox fan. Scherzer, David Wright, and the last card of the whole opening is going to be Acuna. So that's decent for sure. None of these are numbered. No kind of variance in the silver pack. But so let's do a quick review of this box. And then I gotta get to lunch with my, my buddies. So we have this pile of good enough rookies. These are all the cards that were good enough to set aside. And uh, you guys saw me as I was pulling them. I don't know that I need to go through this whole pile, honestly. But um, the Sean Doolittle is definitely very cool. We need to just leave that one up. That's the 76. I like that one. We got... Uh, Let's look at the ones that we have over here. So we got an Acuna silver pack, that's nice. We got a Manny, and this has got an interesting little defect up at the top as well, kind of curious. The Griffey, that's cool. The Bath, the Hunter Green, that's really, really, really nice. That is beautiful. Foil, Hunter Green, the Julio. The Bobby is beautiful, very nicely centered. Torque is in the pile somewhere, but I mean, Torque is not doing that well. This is a great card. And then this one's so interesting. I'm trying to get it to focus on that one spot. Uh, just in the top left corner, there's an interesting little print defect and it, it seems to be, it doesn't go through the Topps logo. It's like on either side of the Topps logo. Very weird. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of research on that. It, this could be an extremely valuable card. I was kind of kidding around about it but it's possible that this is some kind of really valuable card. It's also possible that it's just a weird print defect, but it's the only one in the whole box that had that. So we're gonna have to do some more research. In the meantime, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Final goodbye from Chris. Thank you for letting us come to your store. And you guys keep that big smile on your face because baseball cards are awesome. Noah loves you and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. Amazing Nobody loves you.